What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. The wind has uh, it's died off. It picked up real bad earlier this afternoon. Torrential rain. Um, and it was looking like it was going to be another miserable fishing session. But uh, the wind's died completely off. It's sunny. You know, as most of it is blue sky. Um, just still using up leftover worm. Ragworm, black lag, I've got two wraps of, one or two wraps of fresh blacks as well. Um, main target tonight is bass and rays. You know how the uh, my ray, rays hunts go, so wouldn't expect too much, but you never know. Bait wise for that, I've got sand eels, uh, half pack of squid, I have got one cuttlefish, small one, and five, four or five king prawn as well. I've got my rod set up already, as you as you guys know. I like to get a set up first, get down here, get the rod set up, and then I put my tent up, and then get everything put away if I can be bothered. Um, so yeah, it's turned out to be a really nice evening. High tide, I think, is half past eight, and it's ten to six now. At uh, ten to seven now, sorry. So hour and a half for high. So we'll fish it up, and then probably fish it right down. As always, depending on how the fishing's going. Um, it, for those of you that watched my live last night, you saw the weed was pretty horrendous. There doesn't seem to be any weed here at all at the minute. Both rods are staying where they were put. I've got my um, bag on the tripod as I always do, just in case you get that big fish and I don't know, you might forget to set your drag, so that's just there to stop your tripod falling over so easy. To be honest, I've set my drag on the right hand rail, but not my left, so I'll go and do that in a minute. I've just got ragworm on a pedal, pulley pedal on one, and two black lug on a pulley pedal on the other one. That's the old black lug. So yeah, can monster to keep me awake. Let's get some fish. Right guys, just an update. Second cast out. And I've snapped the black rock again, the Rhapsody. Same place as the last time. Pete's had two fish, I haven't had any yet. I'm, just, I'm not happy. He's had a little bream and a little tiny smut. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not good. I don't, oh, I want my money back for the rod, I don't want another replacement here. There's obviously something wrong with the actual rods. First rod I've ever snapped, and I've snapped it twice. So, yeah, if you're thinking about getting one, save you 320 quid and get something else. Get the Cobra or something instead. But rig wise on this one, size, uh, <clears throat> it's a pulley panel, just a small one, size four, hook on the bottom, the Mustad match hooks, Aberdeen's. Um, there you go, just clips out like that. And I've got some attractors on top. So <clears throat> right, just get that out.
far. There we go. Snap tip. I just left it out. It's fishing. Tips in the water somewhere. But yeah. I'm just going to make up a pulley panel. Just with big hooks on. I don't seem to have any with me. Uh, what are we starting with? There we go. There's already a there they are. Right. So one end you want your weight, your weight clip, whatever. Wrap your line around six times. Go through the knot at the beginning. And then pull tight. It's the same knot I'm going to be doing for all of them. And then I normally do an arm's length for line. Probably about three foot or so. And then what you want. You want two little beads. Um, a swivel. So you want to put one of your beads on first. Followed by a swivel and then another bead. That just stops the swivel getting caught just on the knot. Um, then you want another swivel. And you're going to tie that on. Five or six times, guys. This one can be a bit of a pain to pull, so I normally leave it until I've tied my hook length, which I'm just doing now. So you've got your weight, your swivel, which acts as a pulley, to another swivel. And you tie your hook length on. Which I'm using 20 pound amnesia. There we go. And then what you need to do is work out your distance you need to clip on, which is about there. Come a little bit shorter. And then you want to add your hooks. So for the chinu, I'm using a cox and raw octopus. 2 0 hook. That's got a bend in it. What you want to do, you can see that you come through so the bend can lay flat down, or the shank of the hook lays flat on your line. And then a 4 0 hook. This is just a, uh, an Aberdeen of some sorts.
There we go. That should clip on there. He says. There we go. It's all clipped up. Ready to go. That pops off. And then we've got, you know, six foot long, sits on the bottom, sits on the floor. It's a nice rig, good rig for bass and rays and stuff. So I'm just going to put. Squid on this. <clears throat> right guys, with a squid, I like to come through the top and then bend the hook round. And then you push the hook all the way down through the middle of the squid until you come out the bottom. And then just push it through the eyes. Okay, that sits like that. Then I'll put that in the bait mate tool. So, strain it out, grab your, what's that? <laughs> and then wrap the squid up, Pete's just caught a little baby bass. <clears throat> there we go. Wrap it up nice. <clears throat> and then just slide it off. And we got the panel hook. Wrap it round three or four times. Go through the top of the squid. And there we go. Lovely presentation. Hook point there and hook point at the top. Let's get it out. Here we go guys, on the broken rod, we have got, oh, when he's still, a little red mullet, a beautiful looking fish. There we go guys, they don't do too well out of water. <coughs> What a beautiful fish. Totally unexpected. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, I'm soaked. Alright guys, there's a snap bit. Again, same section. Pete's just done a quick fix for me. He's cut the end down shorter. He's put a little blob of glue on there. So that shouldn't catch. And uh, I'm just gonna go and cast out of it and uh, see how far I can get it. I've got a free hook, Pompey loop rig on. Let me hold it up. <coughs> There's a loop. Two ragworm and a black lug. Let's see if I can go catch some fish on it. I'll leave you down here just so you can see. Maybe, well, you might see how it casts. There we go guys, second fish, second red mullet. There we go. That is on the original and orange combination. 
of the attractors. We're gonna get it back. We got some rain coming in. You see behind Pete. Big band of it coming. Nice over there. Wet over there. Here we go guys, I'm still using the um, broken rod. We've got a double shot. A little smart and a little bass. There you go, there's a little bass. And uh, there's a little smut. Sorry, I'm trying to see where the camera is. Lovely. Right, I'm just going to make a quick adjustment. Uh, Where's the tip of my rod gone? There it is. Right. <clears throat> Need to put a light on, so uh, I'm just going to take that off. go. I haven't got any tape with me but Pete had some glue. So what we're going to do, I'll make sure you can see. Right, got a bit of glue and you want to melt it. Give me a daft light, Renny. Just want to keep heating it up and see how it starts to drip. Like that. And then I'm going to dab a load on the end. Get the sled. And put it on. Push it down tight. And then I'm going to melt some more on top. And some over the middle. Right, 
point, so <clears throat> let that dry off. It only takes a few seconds. Pop the tip light in. There we go. Odd job, but it works. No fish, guys. A little smirk. It's coming on ragworm. Orange and original glow beads doing the business again. Wicked. Only small. They all count though. Here we go, we've got another smirk. This time. It's on a squid and double sand deal bait. A little bit bigger. Still a baby. Here we go. Lovely little shark there. Right guys, Pete has just made, lost a, uh, a big ray. Yeah, uh, it was there for a while. He struck it, started reading it in, and then uh, it bit for his line. So he's just up to his line to 25 pound now. Um, so yeah, there's some big fish here. I've got a sand eel out at the moment, and a king prawn. And then I've got this. Lovely. I think there's about five or six black lug there. And that's what you call a bass bait. Or if I was in the right place, a cod bait. But I'm not targeting cod. I'll show you these attractors quick and just light them up. There we go. Got some original glow and orange glow there. It's been doing well for me this evening, so. I will uh, get that out. But yeah, I'm just prepping some baits here ready. So I've got this one ready now, the black lug one. And then I've got another one ready to sort out here, which is a free uh, Pompey Loop rig, which um, I'm going to put a little bit of sandy and squid on it. So. Come on, come on big fish. Here we go guys, another species. It's a little white in, in August. That'll be used as bait. Nice fresh bait for a ray. So, yeah, that's a welcome catch actually. Can't beat better than the fresh bait. Here we go guys, there's a fillet of that white in. That's a lovely bait. Nice, fresh, juicy, oily fish. Caught five minutes ago. I've got one half out there already. This one will be going out next. Come on, you rays. Here we go, guys, another little smut. There <clears throat> we go. gone quiet. Right guys, that's me done. It's now half past one. Uh, well, target species was caught, a bass I guess, but too small for what I can count. No rays as usual, but um, did have a surprise couple of red mullet, which is good. I didn't think I'd get any this year, but uh, yeah, pulled that out of the bag. Um, but yeah, plenty of fish. But it's gone dead the last three three hours ish down to low. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you can hit the like button and subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.